Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is almost New Year's, which is probably much earlier than when this video will be posted. I don't know if you can tell, but my room is an absolute mess. Obvious, there's some bags, suitcase. And that's because I'm flying to Sao Paulo tomorrow, early, early morning. So it's time to finish everything up here and leave. I started this semester by posting a video about my first month in Berlin. And I thought it'd be appropriate to finish the semester by showing you guys my last week here in Berlin or however many days of footage I have. I remember when I was leaving Moscow, I made a video about the downside of studying at Minerva, which is not having a geographical stability, missing people. It's funny because when I was making that video, I was referring to... We're deep cleaning, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I was making that video, I was referring to me leaving Moscow because that was my home. I have the same exact feelings right now about leaving Berlin. It's been the most incredible four months of me having an actual real life here. I think it's something that I cultivated when I went... I think it's something I cultivated when after two years of constantly moving, I stayed in Moscow for like four months and it felt like home. So I decided to bring that with me to Berlin and hopefully to every city I move to next. I decorated my room a little bit and I bought mugs and towels and I really treated this time in Berlin as if I'm not leaving, which on the positive side helped me create this little nest of comfort and stability, which has been incredibly nice as I said, but on the other hand, again, it's like me flying away somewhere from that nest and trying to build a new nest with little tweaks and mud that I will find in South America. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I'm really happy that I got to live in Germany and experience this country and really feel at home and that I'm very excited to spend some time in Brazil to celebrate New Year's and then my friends and I are flying to Buenos Aires to study there and learn how to dance tango and live in warmth. It's gonna be amazing. But before I do that, here's a recap of the last few weeks or days that I got to live in Berlin. If it looks like I just woke up, it's because it's true. It is so nice to sleep in on a Monday morning, guys. Right now I'm going to a coffee shop to meet Nebraska, who is my classmate, and we're gonna live together in Buenos Aires. So now we're just gonna discuss a few things, and I'm really, really excited because she's also vegan. I respect her so much. She's literally one of the people in my class that I admire, and I wouldn't be more like. So I'm really happy that we're gonna live together, and I'll get to know her better. <laughs> that it gets dark at 4 p.m. which is not ideal but as a person who grew up in Moscow I'm grateful that it's 4 and not 3 <laughs> so now I'm just gonna meet Anna and her boyfriend Effie they're currently at Alexander Platz. gonna go there grab a snack because I'm super hungry and yeah also my coffee catching up session with Nebraska was so wonderful I'm super excited but also extremely sad to live in Berlin so <laughs> emotional roller coasters Happy Christmas Eve! We and Matvei. Скажи привет. We're going to Berliner Dome for Christmas service, and I think it already started. They're really? calling us. <laughs> yeah, they're calling us. We're really, really excited. It's only 4.30 p.m. and that huge line is for the 6 p.m. session. So when Nebraska's in the line, I'm gonna go get us some hot tea so we can wait together and experience German Christmas. After half an hour of searching for a place that is open, I found Starbucks and now I'm a little bit lost, but we'll make it on time. <laughs> wow! And that's a wedding in Berlin for you! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry 
Christmas. It is the, wait, I'm gonna try to put it better. Today is the 25th of December, which is Christmas. But I didn't really vlog anything today because I had a tiny little <laughs> mental breakdown. So I didn't really feel good showing you guys any of them. If you're celebrating the holidays with your family or with your friends and you're feeling very happy and it is the best time of the year for you, that's amazing i'm really happy for you guys but something i realized last night when i went to bed after we had that amazing dinner is that when i was younger i loved the holidays we celebrate new year's in russia it's like the biggest national holiday and i would save up my pocket money in advance so i could buy presents for all my friends and family and i would wrap them and put them under the tree and it was like this amazing time and my siblings and i would always watch christmas movies with lord of the rings after that and it's just it truly was a magical time but something i realized last night was that now i don't associate with that now it's more of like finals it's about packing and moving and instability it's about leaving your previous life it's about missing family and seeing how everyone else <laughs> around you celebrates it regardless so it's kind of a not very happy time it's more of a emotional time that i feel like i need to process and last year new year's i cried my eyes out but i didn't really understand what's wrong like i'm so happy everything is so great why would i be upset but now i think i get that i just need to process those emotions just acknowledging the fact that maybe it's not something i can just brush off like oh i'm just moving from this country to another um everything is great I can facetime my family it's not a problem because it's almost flushing their toilet nice because <laughs> i don't need to pretend i need to be intact with my reality instead of putting so many expectations about this time on myself so here's a little honesty <laughs> i'm much better now i talked to anna and i talked to alex and i'm probably gonna call my family in the evening i am taking steps to feel better but also taking my time to process those emotions in all the ways that i need to so right now the best thing that i'm doing is i'm watching a new netflix series i've also eating a lot and drinking coffee and drinking a lot of water i'm staying hydrated <laughs> so yeah it's not that bad let's just fast forward to the next day oh so now it looks like i'm the only one on the trip we're in hamburg I Because of the mood. Are you funny? What I'm do you mean? kidding. It is because of the mood. Wait, what do you mean? Are we talking about tides now? Low tides, high tides? Yeah. Okay, but it doesn't explain that the river is not a river, but dirt. Oh, because that's the floor. <laughs> so during high tide, it's not dirty? See this? During high tide, the water is actually this far. It's still dirty. It's still dirty water. <laughs> Annoy Alex? Check. for watching here's to a new year here's to a new chapter here's to new adventures growth and changes do we love changes yes is it always easy no but it's always always worth it i'm gonna go pack i'll see you in a new vlog where i'm actually flying to my new nest i love you guys and i will see you soon Yay!